person that has the upper hand for the upcoming election, 2023, I think it's Ashura Jubala Metinubu. Right. So it's Bola Metinubu. But the problem you are having with Ashura Jubala Metinubu is, just for example, as like Lagos State now, Lagos State is just like a showroom to Bola Metinubu that what have you done for you to confuse people that I want to deliver? I you understand me. But we Lagosian, if they, if they should ask us, uh, okay, Lagosian, who will you vote for? I, I know everybody will say Bella Metinubu, but more, few, few of us will, know, will say no because of the aspects that touch each other, as you understand. For example, let's start from the uh, road to something, I, I you understand. Uh, for the road, Look at last man, look at VIO. For you to take a, uh, to collect a, your paper now for the VIO test now, you have to take your car there, which is very good. But where are the where is the road? They said road wordiness. The road is not wordiness. Go to most of their office. For you go to, to get to the office, you see the bad roads. I've been trying to collect my paper for the past for the since February now. I keep going back every day go and do this go and do this these uh these 10 months now i've not received it so i just decide that i'm no more using the car i just pack it you understand the second car now it will it will soon expire so what will happen so as for me bola tinubu have upper hand but there is some we have an issue with him look at the agbe rose everywhere they are not encouraging us to go to school again. If you see all these Agbero now, see them with convoy. Everywhere, you're on the streets, with convoy. So if you have anybody going to school now, they will say, what are you going to school for? Just try and join the, all this woodlum, you make it. You understand? That's for the Balatinubu. But for Peter Obi, I think Peter Obi is the best. I have to be sincere with you. I want to... Uh, let you guys know we just need support of the youth let's forget about emilokan or whatever whatever emilokan to what next level to what change to what you understand that's the question that we didn't ask them then they said change we didn't forget to ask them there that okay change to what is due to continue of sovereign you now say next level next level to what now they are saying emilokan emilokan to what so for Peter Obi, I, I think Peter Obi is, is the right man there. For me, that's my own opinion. But he needs support. Why, why did I say he needs support? Is Look at Lagos State now. I was here just hearing it in the radio now that maybe, I, th I don't think he have a, a governor candidate in Lagos State. He doesn't have. Look at House of Assembly, nothing. You understand? If Peter Obi should win, by the grace of God, God will put us through. For example, if Peter Obi should win now, he, they will not allow him to enjoy the government because of uh, they will just vote him out. We are just doing one party system in Nigeria now. There is no opposition. Look at during Jonathan. We have PDP, we have APC. If you are wrong, they will tell you. But now, they are everywhere. You understand? They are not saying, saying we should vote this, we should vote that. The problem Nigerian is having is, let's put in an example that I have a car, that the engine is smoking. I need to change the engine, right? And I say, instead of me changing the engine, for example, the color is white before. I say, okay, let me go and paint it black. It, that smoke cannot change. That's the problem we are having in Nigeria. Let's change the engine completely. Instead of spraying, they are just spray, spraying, changing of color. Let's change engine totally. For me, if she asks me, I have my PVC with me. I register in Lagos. I live in Ogun State. I will sleep in Lagos to vote Peter Obi. But I pray for God. We need change in Nigeria. God will put us through. Many people are saying this. I vote. I will vote this. I will vote this. On that day of election, your conscience will tell you the right person to vote for. Thank you.